So another one of the uh, slow cooking dishes. Fantastic product. One of my favorite products from New Zealand Venison. You don't get it very often. It's quite special. Uh, you can't always uh, find it in supply. But Hanos has it, which is fantastic. And that's the cheeks. And the cheeks from New Zealand Venison are really special because they're such a beautiful size. Uh, you can see them here. That's one portion for a small starter or two for a main. So you can do a lot more with them. And it's not a product that everybody has, and it's not something that you find very often. So if you want to have something a little bit special on your menu, then the cheeks from New Zealand Venison are, are really something. We're doing this as just a small dish. We've just got a puree from carrot and ginger, bit of butter, bit of cream, tamil mix, off you go. We've got some pickled onion. We've got some of the lovely little crumbles that you can buy here in Hanos. Um, and then we've got a nice herb cream, uh, uh, oil, sorry. And inside that herb oil, we have seven of the different green herbs, um, all of them except for basil, basically. Bit of green chili, bit of lime, and that really elevates the dish. Now, the cheeks have just been cooked in a fairly classic way. That means I've oiled them, salted them, pepper in the pan, and then I've mixed them in with some broth, a beautiful beef broth or a wild game broth if you can find one, and then just cook them very, very slowly, a little bit of red wine in the oven, 130 degrees for about two and a half hours. And then we just let them rest. I've just taken them out of the warming tray, set at 70 degrees, and I'm just going to pop them in the pan, and then we'll just warm them through a wee bit and allow the sauce to reduce somewhat. So you can see the size of them. It's really, I love, I love this product. I love it. Pop the sauce in, and we'll just let that all cook together and reduce somewhat. So, cheeks have warmed up a little in the sauce. Sauce is reducing a wee bit. We've got this really spicy, wonderful carrot puree, very rich, a lot of butter in there, secret of French cooking, butter, cream, cream, butter, butter, cream. And uh, we're just going to pop a bit of that in the middle of the plate. So this is a, a lovely dish for this time of year where it's a little bit colder, where right now it's winter. It's a bit of a rainy, wet day outside, so it has all the comfort food aspects that you want. The wheat cheeks is usually made up of two pieces. I can just show you that quickly. What you have is the cheek, and then underneath you'll have this piece here. So they tend to separate when we cook them. It's no problem at all. We just take the smaller one off the cheek, pop that underneath, and then our bigger piece, and pop that on top. And there you go. Take a spoon. Oops. Spoon a bit of our sauce over. Finish it off with a bit of our crumbles. They just give that extra special kick. Bit of the red onion for the colour. We've got yellow, we've got this beautiful dark shoe, a bit of the pickled red onion on there, and then our herb oil, which really elevates the dish. It's such a wonderful, warm, rich flavour, and then with all of these herbs in there, it's really something special. So we'll just dot that around. You can be liberal with it. A little more crumble around the edges there. And then we'll just top that off with a bit of the oxalis. And then you have it, a wonderful dish, not too big a portion, perfect as a, as a mid portion or as a starter. Those cheeks, you can use them double or single, and we have a wonderful, rich, flavorful dish made with New Zealand venison cheeks. Special, not every day, not typical, and that's what your guests deserve, only the best.